Hi everyone, my name is Tidi Warapila and this is the podcast series of Imperative Mac and we are here with our old friend, our very own Nomwen Sky. And yeah, I'm just so excited with the little time that we have. Hey Nomwen, how are you? I'm good, thanks and how are you? I'm good. Thanks for being with us on the podcast. Um you and I need 10 days to talk about this, but I'm just going to go ahead and frame the conversation. And because I know you and I had spoke about, you know, um, being suicidal or the mental health, but I want to frame it and go direct today about, you know, with everything that we go through, especially like them being tense about something, battling with something, be it grief, be it what you want and it just not manifesting. How do you make a decision um, when you feel like all is all has failed, all is not coming through for me? How do you make a decision to not kill yourself? Um, I think the 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 biggest thing or the one thing that mm. plays a very important role mm. is acceptance. Mm. You literally have to accept, mm. and uh, more than anything, sometimes we give up on our dreams or we give up on where we want to be because of the time that we have set for ourselves Mm. and only to find that that thing is still yet to manifest. You Mm. are just not yet ready. But because you want it at the time that you want it, you grow frustrated and you're like, you know what, nothing is ever going to work out. But if you accept and you trust that there is something bigger that is taking care of you, either it be the universe, God or your ancestors, whatever it is that you believe and trust that their timing for your life will not be wrong and just accept and just remain in the peace that when it is time, it will definitely happen. No, mm. no, you're saying, so, you know, very profound nuggets. They like frustrate. We get frustrated. We we sort mm-hmm. of not trust that is is still coming for us. But I think sometimes as well, it has happened for me in many times where I, I think that something is yet to come and only to realize mm-hmm. that it has come, but not in the shape or the space that I was praying for or hoping for mm-hmm. or meditating for. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So h- mm-hmm. how, how important, I mean, and I think there's also this concept of time where we, we thinking that by the age of 25, I must be here. 26, I must be mm-hmm. here. 30, I must be here. How important is it to realize that the time concept is not in our human value or our human space is not the same as that of the universe or whatever it is that you be, you believe the bigger hand is? Mm -hmm. It's very important and Mm -hmm. also it's important to understand your life Mm -hmm. and the patterns of how you have received things because Mm -hmm. as I'm sure it's different how you receive things or how quickly you you are able to manifest and get to where you want to be and for me there's probably a delay. I need to understand that there's a difference between you and I and Mm -hmm. we have come to know that yes, there there is no time in the universe. Everything is happening at the exact same time. Mm -hmm. You have to decide to tap into that you know energy field but Mm -hmm. because we are human and we are in the physical realm and it's so hard and there are a lot of things that hinder us from Mm -hmm. seeing that it is very much important to know that, listen, I just need to stay patient and I need to, to pray or to meditate upon the, the art of discernment in mm. understanding when something has happened, mm. will happen or mm. not meant to happen. Those mm. are the things that we're also supposed to look at because sometimes we pray so much for something, but it's only going to destruct something bigger that could have happened in your life. Mm. So, so we need to be aware and see and know that sometimes the time frame actually helps us to come back and regroup and ask, do I still want this? Am mm. I sure this is going to work out for me? Um, am I sure it's, it's for my well-being? Am I sure it's for my safety? And to know and understand when to let go, when to hold on. But giving up definitely is never the option. Mm. And and when is it safe for me, right? Talk to us about personal safety because I think sometimes we pray for something so long and so hard and we 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 come to it and we realize that um let me let me make an example right i know mm-hmm. that if i was um i had been given the opportunities that i have today and in my 39th mm-hmm. years um of this life or on this journey i would not have been mm-hmm. able to handle them i would have been too egotistic you mm-hmm. know i would have been 
a toxic human being because possibly I was not ready to receive certain positions in my life now. Um, and, and, and that's the sort of the space or the safety that I'm thinking about. But how do I know, Normanda, for yourself um, as you're receiving mm. something that I'm ready for this or I'm not ready? Because sometimes it's the denial that, but my peers have been in this space. How is it mm. that I'm, so how do you know personally that you are ready? You look at the events in your life. You Mm. look at how this thing is coming to you. And more than anything, you have to be honest with yourself and ask Mm. yourself, how do I feel? How Mm. do I feel about this? Because many times we pray for something Mm, mm, and mm. we think that by the time you receive it, you'll be happy or whatever the case Mm. is. And then you're not happy. Suddenly you're stressed, you're frustrated, you're overwhelmed. Mm. That's when you should ask your bigger self and ask with the what is the reason for me feeling like this? Because mm. of the possibility that you may mishandle that blessing mm. and you're only being brought back to, to, to nurture yourself and be ready for it so that when it comes, you're in a place of, of peace and, and welcoming. Mm. So you are the only one that can tell yourself, say, I, Siri, I don't think you're ready for this. Mm. But when you are ready, there will be no shadow of a doubt. And you will know very well that I am walking in and I'm stepping into my blessings. You mm. should be sure and certain. But if you are not and you don't want to self-destruct, you can just safely step away and say, you know what, I think I'm not yet ready for this. Can you guys just put it aside? Um, mm, uh, mm. The guys being the universe or being God or being whoever, say, put it aside. Let me be ready. Uh, usher me into that journey that will allow me to be ready mm. and to stand and partake, you know, in this level of my life. You have to ask yourself. Only you would know. And and you have to be honest and big enough to understand that, yes. right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I also want to talk about I know that last year when I lost my sister, I really mm-hmm. felt like death myself. And I had mm-hmm. more suicidal thoughts that I, than I've had, like literally even thinking about, you know, how would I go about it? But mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but but the, 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 the one thing that that kept me insane, sane and still keeping me sane now is is the voice or the work that I had done prior to the to, to the loss, you know. Um, mm. I had to recognize myself because there was a voice that I would hear, but I would be like, but Tidi, that's not your voice. That's not how you talk yeah. to yourself. And that's not how you... Mm. So so the, the what practices do you put to yourself so that between you and death at that time, when you saying, listen, I've been at this life, I'm suicidal, mm. I know that the only thing that it's, is for me is to die because I've tried it all. All. What practices mm. or what is it that we need to be doing no Monday so that we are strong and mm. when that decision between to die or to not die literally happens or hit us, we, we then sort mm. of act on it so that our brain and our heart already recognizes that that phase. I don't know if that makes sense or I'm all over, but that's mm. that's really mm. what I wanna wanna get to. Well, one thing you need to, to understand about the whole suicide thing is that mm. suicide is a spirit. It's a what? Um, it's a spirit. It's, okay. It's, mm. it's a spirit. Yes, mm. it's a spirit. It's, mm. That's how I have come to, to understand it. Mm. That this thing is a spirit. It's a feeling. Mm. Because mm. there will be days where you're like, you know what? I want to kill myself. Then you mm. wake up tomorrow and you're like, you know what? Actually, life is worth living, you know? Mm. So it mm. keeps on changing. It keeps on leaving you. It keeps on returning. Mm. And one mm. thing about it is that it has mastered the tone of your mind. Mm. So as you are saying, it will come to you and it will sounds as though this is you this is your final decision Mm. but it actually isn't you know Mm. and that's when we need to remember what it is that we have been set out into this earth for Mm. that's why it is important to write down your goals it is important to to be given the strength and yes those are just literally the smallest things that can keep you holding on but it is still something because at the end of the day you don't know what can keep you holding on Mm. so another person may say I've achieved all my goals Mm. Um, I've done everything I want to do. I feel like, you know what, it's much better for me to die now than when I'm successful mm. than when I lose it all, you know? Mm. So mm. we need to be true to ourselves and we need to have those people that we can call instantly and say, hey, this voice is back. Mm. These thoughts are back. I, I don't know what to do. I've tried writing it down. I've tried reading. I've tried doing this and that because there is no straight path to it. Mm. There is no way. Because if there was, a lot of people would not have killed themselves. So mm. we may say, go out with friends, talk to your family, talk to your close ones. But we that have lived with this thing know very well that when it hits, it hits. It's, it's something that overwhelms you and overpowers you. 
So the mm. only thing that you can do for yourself is to recognize and mm. to know yourself and to remember and to recall what worked for you the last time just mm. saving you from killing yourself may not be what's going to help the next time. Mm. So you need to literally be five steps ahead of this voice, five mm. steps ahead of the spirit. You need to think on your feet instantly and say, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. Mm. You know, even if it means prolonging your life, just try prolong it as much as possible. But mm. it is not easy. Mm. Not easy at all. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What, what do you personally, what do you hold on to? What do you, what do you mm-hmm. say to yourself every morning and hold on to? And how do you collaborate with Nomonde every day? So to use your ways to prolong your life and to be in this life. What I hold on to is mm. the fear of the other side. Mm. Um, because understand now, when we try to kill ourselves, we are not necessarily trying to end our lives. We're trying mm. to end the suffering and to end the pain and to end the void. Mm. Now, my concern is what if I do do it and then I get to the other side and there is no resting. It's actually 10 times worse than what I'm feeling now, mm. you know. It's repetitive, this thing. This this voice is literally, it has a face and a body now. And I'm thinking, I thought I was here to rest. You guys, you know, that's not the case. So mm. my fear of the unknown for the other side is what destroys me even further. Because already I'm dealing with something that I know on that side. Something mm. that I'm feeling and experiencing. Let me just stay a little bit longer. Mm. Because now what if it's worse on the other side? And there's no way you can die and come back and say, yo, I was joking. I'm sorry, guys. Mm. Yo, I did not think it was going to be that bad. It's done. It's final. I can't even access TV. I can't even tell that man that, guys, I'm not happy mm-hmm. here. Get me out. There is no way. Mm-hmm. And another thing is that because I understand that it is a spirit, it is definitely going to be passed on to the next being. The oh. next being in the family. The next being. Like, mm-hmm. there's a lot that goes into it because now the spirit has to be cleansed within the family. And these yeah. are the things that we sometimes don't look at. You yeah. may think that you're just suicidal because whatever. And you know, mm. someone in the 1900s in your bloodline killed themselves. They were not cleansed of that spirit. But mm. it, 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 it's it's very deep and it goes further. Yes. So my fear yeah, of yeah. the other side is what keeps me holding on. I'm like, you know what? If I could survive for 28 years on this earth, mm. I think I can hold on a bit longer. Mm. It can't be as bad as I am making it out to be. I don't want to suffer even more. If you have suffered in life, mm. you definitely don't want to suffer on the other side. So that's what keeps me holding on. Yeah, no wonder. That's just mm-hmm. so beautiful. And I, beautiful in a very compelling way, right? Um, beautiful in a yeah. very way that says, you know, it awakens you. Um, and, and I think mm. w- you and I will have a more conversation around this, especially around the spirit side of it and it need being to be cleansed because it's so powerful that we think we, we firstly want to just judge and say, why are people killing mm. themselves? And, 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 and we don't realize that nobody i think I, for me the ma- the most painful thing is what thought did this person have um when mm. they eventually said you know what this is it and as they saw mm. life drifting out of them um what were they mm. thinking about was was it what was the last thought you know i i i, wow. I, I i'm more compassionate uh, um or i want to understand the vulnerability that they were in at that state but like you say nobody comes back and tell us that guys it was worth it or no it wasn't worth it and for all we know and what we have now is just to prolong our lives and to say um what if this monster is bigger and it's got a body and it chases me every day on the other Mm -hmm. side you know Mm -hmm. um and i think that's that's just you know great great learnings from your side so my last question mm -hmm, mm -hmm, go go for it before before you go on um, i think to add on what i Mm. always think because in all the times where i have been close enough Mm, um mm, mm, mm. the the final feelings or the final thoughts Mm are actually not as monstrous as people make them out to be. Because, yes, mm. the description is, I'm living with this thing, I'm living with this monster, and I'm battling depression. Mm. That's mm. The, the term that we always use, battling. Mm. 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 But during the final stages, I think it offers you this peace that you cannot understand. You're just literally there mm. in a hot room, and there's this window that's open, and the curtain is just flowing freely, and there's this... Mm sweet voice that's calling out to you and it says come here there's the fresh air this side you know mm. the final moments are not those of of torment are not those that you have lived with where you mm. were tormenting yourself and you were tormented by the thing the final moments offer so much peace 
Mm. It is amazing the peace mm. that you are offered because I don't think that if mm-hmm. you're suffering, mm-hmm. you would want to go in furthermore. Mm. Mm. you know to suffer even further no mm. but at that moment you just want to go in and be at peace and that's what i think the final moments are about and that is why so many mm. of our people have fallen to the other side because it's just offers sweet and, and assurance and and all of yeah. that yeah 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 Sure. No, Monde, I, I, I really think you and I need to have this conversation in detail. I think people mm-hmm. would learn a lot from you. I think you've been my teacher in this space. You've been a teacher in someone who literally can show their vulnerability. And, and some of us, when we're battling, we can come back and say, sure, that, that one way yeah. that you say today has just allowed me to go further. Are you in good yeah. spirit where you are now? Are you, are you in good spirit? I would like to believe I am. Okay. I would like to believe I am. Mm. Um, yeah, definitely mm. am. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, we wish you well mm-hmm. and thank you so much for squeezing us in this short time and to talking to us and continue being the teacher that we are all waiting for. Uh grow in this Definitely. space, my sister. Um we are rooting Definitely. for you and I look forward Definitely. to having more conversation with you. And may your ancestors yeah. and your gods protect you all the way. May you always thank run you. ahead of that spirit. We are thinking of you and we're rooting for you. Thank you so, so much. We'll definitely have more conversations around this. Uh, you know, I love talking to you. You're literally one person I can talk to <laughs> until the day ends. I kind of not even affect that when I'm talking to you. It's like, oh my God, it's been so many minutes and we're still talking. Right. So I am definitely ready. Uh, whatever you guys are ready, I will set up the app so that next time yes. you know very well that listen. I am literally on speed dial. I am so ready. <laughs> we love you, Nomonde. Can you can you take us away with a short poem? You know, I'll, I'll never not ask you that. <laughs> you know, I'll always you, squeeze you. You know, I'll always you. squeeze you out of that. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just give you a, a snippet and yeah, a small one. Sure, um, yeah. And this one uh, is titled, I Will Run Further. mm I will run further than the voices that are always standing by my heels. Mm. I will run further than the burns that I always feel when I'm scorched, praying for God to not burn my knees. Mm. I will run further than my mind permits at times when I'm too tired to tell anyone that I wish I were retired from this work of life. I will run further until I find my healed self happy to meet me, not on the other side, but right in this life. Mm. I will run further because I believe I am not an empty captain. For as long as those that are around me care to pour into me, I shall definitely overflow to the next being too. I will run further because my miles keep on getting extended with each step I take. So Mm. this marathon is never going to be over. The goals that I win and the accolades that I collect mean nothing if my people are not free in Mm. their mind. So I will run further in this race of mine that is combined with your race too until the so true. Mm. I will run further. Mm. Oh, I know when Please run further, my <laughs> sister. We love you and thank we, you so we much. Are, we are definitely all going to run further. Thank you so, so much thank for having you. me. It thank you. Thank you. such a pleasure. All right. Thanks, Namonde. Go well. Bye. All right. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> You've been listening to another production from Solid Gold Podcasts.